Yeah, it's typical Vancouver, I'd say. Nothing's nif different, nothing's changed. <laughs> Still cloudy and yucky out. Still waiting for summer to come. It's coming soon, right? <laughs> so, this past weekend, um, I was planning to uh, work out on Sunday. Uh, I usually take Sundays off, but um, I have something coming up on, on the. I had something coming up on the Tuesday, which was going to prevent me from working out at all. It was just it was going to suck my entire day away. Um, so I decided to skip my day off this last weekend in favor of accepting that Tuesday would be my day off. So I was committed to working out on Sunday. And as I laid in bed, having my little sleep in, because Sunday is also no alarm day, uh, a friend texted me and asked me if I wanted to go for a yummy brunch right in the middle of the day, right when I was planning to go to the gym. And I, um, I actually didn't hesitate to say, no thanks, I'm going to the gym. <laughs> um, and the reason for that is because I'd, committed, I'd, made, a, I'd made, a, made a commitment to myself, and uh, it was firmly in my head that that's what I was going to do. And even though something better came up, and, you know, I guess better is a relative term, but something more social and more sort of yummy <laughs> came up, uh, I decided to keep my commitment to myself. And it got me thinking some more. I know I've talked about uh, mindset and commitment a lot, and I don't think that I can talk about it enough because it really is the biggest part of the equation. If you've got self-commitment figured out, then everything else falls into place. So, um, you know, as I promised myself, I went to the gym and, and got my workout in. But it got me thinking about, you know, what if, look at it this way. What if you had two friends and you had a plan to go to see a movie with one of the friends? And um, a couple of hours before you were going to go to that movie, another friend got in touch with you and asked you if you wanted to go see a different movie and possibly even a movie that you wanted to go see even more than the first movie. What would you do? Would you bail on that first friend? Or would you keep your commitment to that first friend because that was the first commitment that you made and you know, you'd made it to that friend prior to the first, second friend getting a hold of you? I think that's a no-brainer, isn't it? You'd, you'd keep the commitment to the first friend. Sure, invite the second friend along, maybe. <laughs> but keep the commitment to the first friend uh, because you've made a commitment second friend doesn't have a commitment from you yet. Um, there's, there's no obligation to say yes. So that's sort of the way I treat myself. I treat myself like I'm that first friend. I made the first commitment to a person. That person is me. And I keep it because I respect me. And that's sort of the, the bottom line, the end of the story. There's nothing more to say. There's nothing more to think about. First commitments get kept every time. I don't know. I just think it's, you know, it, 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 it's something that sort of demonstrates your worth as a human being. If you can keep your commitment to your first friend, then that says something about you as a person. You know, you're a stand-up person. You know, how to, you know how to keep your commitments. Um, so doing it, to the, do, doing it to your, for yourself as well is exactly the same. Just be a stand-up person for yourself. So anyway, I just, that just got me thinking because I would have loved to have gone for brunch. I really, really would have and gone and be, been social and had a few laughs and stuff. But Tuesday's my day off working out. I, I got to work out today and that's my commitment and off I go. So, you know, <laughs> anyway, um, that's all I had to say today. And I hope you're having a great, great day and we'll see you again soon. Take care.